Canadian Christian conservative, originally born in the Soviet Union, Anna became a world-traveling professional poker player and was featured as a contestant on the CBS television show Survivor in 2016 before discovering Jesus was king and President Trump was right about almost everything. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet Anna Kate. Woo. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, I was born in the Soviet Union. My family brought me here when I was four years old. I got indoctrinated in schools. True story. But I never forgot the testimonies of my parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents. Amen. My family believed in the Lord. I didn't. I was a stubborn atheist. I was a professional poker player, living the life, was on Survivor, living the life, but inside I was miserable. I had no idea what was going on in my country. And I heard stories from my great grandmother talking about communism when they come in and they take all the livestock, all the cows, all the chickens, right, this whole Green New Deal. It's all a plan from the pits of hell. The communists, Lenin did it, then Stalin followed him, and actually Hitler copied the same thing. What they did was they also pulled out all of, the, all of the fruits and vegetables, the crops. Stalin did that in Ukraine, and over 10 million people starved to death in one year. We know the agenda of the enemy, but let me tell you, we have a big God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when I came to this country, Again, I was indoctrinated. I have to tell you that, you know, on the right, conservative, I never thought I would be a conservative or a Christian ever. I used to make fun of them. And then I had an encounter with the living God, Jesus. You guys, I wish I had time to share my testimony. I had an encounter with him in Jerusalem at the Western Wall. He showed me heaven and he took me to hell in a dream. It's real. I have friends who overdosed from drugs, atheists, went to hell, saw demons and everything, and heard the voice say, you don't belong here, and came back to life, and they're Christian evangelists now. Let me tell you, it is real. God is real. <laughs> Jesus is Lord and Savior, hallelujah. So we see the plot of the enemy in this country. But like I said, we have a big God. And he said some amazing words that are going to come to pass because he's not a God that's a liar. So here I am. I'm 28 years old. Get saved. And I said, Lord, I want to do something. I want to get involved. I want to do something for the country that gave me so much. And I got a phone call a few days later from a man you might have heard of, James O'Keefe. <laughs> from Project Veritas because... Um, I was the only one from reality television to, adore, to endorse candidate Trump in 2016. And I knew all my friends are liberal and atheist and all that. I knew I'm going to lose all my friends. I'm going to lose my reputation. And you know what? This country is worth losing everything to save this country. <laughs> Hallelujah. So here I am. I got involved. I said, James, in, I want to infiltrate the communists. I want to go deep. I want to go in. I want to go to DSA. I want to go to Democratic Socialists of America. I want to expose it all. He said, okay, sending you to DC, <laughs> which is a swamp, as we know. Lots of communists in our own government. And so I infiltrated DSA, exposed a few communists from the Department of State and the DOJ, and they got fired. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All glory to God. And I had friends that infiltrated Antifa out in Portland, uh, Portland Oregon and showed how, how tactical they are. You know that they get trained? They get AR training. They hate guns publicly, but privately they're training. And so let me show you, let me tell you the biggest lesson I've seen. The Lord really changed my heart because when I infiltrated them, I thought going before I went in, they're the enemy. They're gonna destroy this country, they're the enemy, and, and I hate them. The Lord really changed my heart because I realized I was standing in front of people 
Granted, there was one or two radical communists in the group, sold out. But most of them, 98% of them, are, are like in La La Land. They're sweet people, they're good people. They just don't realize their solution doesn't work. You see, a lot of times, even when I see even on social media and coming to events, like I see, you know, the left, they try to preach truth, love without truth. And a lot of times on our side, we're, trying, we're preaching truth without love. We are not gonna change this country just arguing with them. So here's what I saw. So I saw, Lord, they're not my enemy. The, in the Ephesians chapter six, it says, our, ba our battle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against humans. These are spirits. These are spirits, these are principalities. So <sighs> my friend that infiltrated Antifa, you know that most of their, most of the members, they never had a father. They're barely even, mom's barely even home. They don't have a family, it's like a gang. Gang goes out in the streets, they have their own family, and they are stuck, you know, they're stuck together. But by the grace of God, we're not them. We know the truth. And the Lord is saying, it is time to forgive them. Because the Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people will humble themselves, seek his face and pray and forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we forgive them, Lord. We forgive their ignorance, Lord. We thank you that you are God of the impossible and you have not forgotten the covenant you made with our forefathers here, Lord. This is not over. The enemy is trying to push revelation too early. It is not the time yet. No more division, no more bitterness, no more anger. It's time to be filled up with the Holy Ghost. I heard, you know, Dr. Stella led you, th led you to the Lord. Now you want to be filled up with the Holy Ghost. You want to be commissioned and set on your assignment. You see, you guys can do what I did. I just had an undercover camera. I got three people fired from the government. It was all over the news. The New York Times came out, actually attacked me, wrote a hit piece on me, and so did BuzzFeed and everyone, calling me a honeypot. I said, I didn't have to touch anyone, kiss anyone for a story. I'm just good at what I do by the grace of God. And uh, they got fired. But they tried to smear us, hallelujah. It's only by his grace. But it's time, you guys. Because when you get, when you get filled up with the Holy Ghost, you forgive them, you love them, that's when God will move on our behalf. Because right now, it's anger against anger. This country keeps getting more and more divided. We have to be full of love. This is, this is a graduation day, the Lord was also saying. Today is graduation day for a lot of us here. People here are so desperate and hungry and ready. You're activated, this is not just an event. You're actually getting your commission right here. God is speaking to you in your seat what you are going to do when you go back home. Amen, this is not a rah-rah event. And let me tell you, everyone here that's sitting in the audience, you are not less important than anyone up here. We are all a spiritual army by the grace of God. So I want Pastor Ruth to come here and just pray over you guys and commission you. This is, this is it. What the Lord showed her and her husband and a lot of other prophets as well around the country is what God's about to move. I, would, I want you to share what the Lord showed you, what's coming, and then graduation. What's your graduation? Yes, hallelujah. I'm so excited. Looking at all of you. 2 Chronicles 69 said, God is looking to and fro on the earth, looking for someone that he can really show himself strong and mighty. Those who are loyal to him. I see a loyal heart here. Come on. Hallelujah. You cannot be a patriot and not be godly. God said, godly patriots, rise up. This is the time and the hour. It's like graduation time. And the Lord said, God is about whether you're ready or not. And I know this army is ready. The spiritual army is ready here. God has said this is his organization. This has been his doing from the beginning to the end. And, and this is not going to be end, by the way. He said, there is a marching forward order from the beginning. And thou commissioning is today. is the day of commissioning. The Lord said, judgment and justice is coming. It's the wave and wave of the biggest tsunami flood, the wave of his justice and judgment that no man can stop. No government can stop because God himself said, I am taking over America. I am taking over all nations, said God. Ha! 
but it's time to graduate. We expect all of us to graduate, right? I was a doctor at 22 years old. My parents expect me to graduate, not forever being in kindergarten. But how come we don't graduate in the spirit? How come no one expects anybody to graduate? You've been staying with this beautiful organization for the last how many, more than a year. You are in the accelerated, oh, discipleship training, eagles. It's about to fly and soar, and we all need each other. God said, you what, everyone who has been in this platform, this is a platform of heaven. He said, you've been taught, you've been told, you've been commissioned. Now is the time publicly graduate in the spirit. Because God said, it's time to take over. My people will take dominion. Those who are ready, if you know you're, you're graduating now, now go to the next level because all of us are going to graduate. We have young patriots to the young of hearts patriots. God is signed. I met someone here when I saw her. I said, uh, I see your roots of righteousness so deep in your state. And she said, I am a senator, a state senator in Montana. Come on, everyone. And she said, I wasn't involved in politics, but God called me and anointed me. But he has to study the Bible. He has to study what is all about this country, constitution and all this. So God said, it's time to graduate. It's time to graduate. Those who want to graduate, stand up and be counted righteous. God, mighty armor, the living God. Hallelujah. Father, right now, this is a graduation rite and ceremony in heavenly Father. Everyone of God are being commissioned in their state, in their every part of their city and state. Come on, everyone, rise up and be counted. Music, please. Come on, take this seriously. Hallelujah. Let's say it's your family right next to you. Hug them, kiss them. Say congratulations. We're going higher in the Lord. Higher. Yeah. We're taking back this country with the Lord with love and truth. They go together. Justice and judgment is together. Judgment for the wicked, justice for the righteous. Hallelujah. We love you. We bless you. Thank you, Clay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Here's a fun fact for you. Florida is reuniting debate after it just rolled out the Don't Tread on Me license plates earlier this month. Drivers in the Sunshine State can now order Don't Tread on Me license plates complete with the yellow and black image of the Gadsden flag from the Revolutionary War. And you guys know I live in Florida, so you know I'm getting one. The governor announced that the sale of these plates will go towards veteran organizations. This is a proud moment for patriots across the country. But what about the rest of you guys that live in the other 49 states? Well, listen closely because I'm about to reveal a new way to showcase a Don't Tread on Me without a license plate. The new version of the Don't Tread on Me flag is the United We Stand Gold Challenge coin. Try, review, and inspect the United We Stand coin with your own hands risk-free for 60 days simply by going to www.unitedwestandcoin.com or clicking the link down below. It's free. Just cover the shipping. This is a time-sensitive offer, so hurry. After entering your details, you'll receive your United We Stand coin to your doorstep in just a few days.